Welcome to Principles of Financial Accounting. This lesson is called Mike Starts His, Mike, His Bike Business. Mike is an entrepreneur who loves bicycle racing and he's ridden bikes all of his life. And in fact, he loves bikes so much that this summer on July 1, he decides to start his very own bike business. What we're going to do in this lesson, lesson one, Mike starts his bike business, is we're going to have Mike open up an account here and a database. We're going to call this Mike's database uh, for his bike business. And the first thing Mike does is on July 1, he puts $40,000 of his personal cash into the business and whenever a business is started the personal investment by the owner is called a financing activity to the business so Mike put forty thousand in his business checking account and his equity also went up and we remember that the accounting equation assets must always equal liabilities plus equity so Mike's very first transaction let's insert another uh, column here and we're gonna call this Mike's personal contribution okay so Mike on July 1 opened a business checking account he insert he and uh, he uh, deposited forty thousand dollars to start that business and let's draw lines under all of these things and remember Mike's assets must always equal his liabilities plus his equity and let's center all of his assets across the columns and we'll make it bold we'll center liabilities across those two columns we'll make it bold and let's center equity over those two columns and center it beautiful so next Mike says I don't have enough cash to start the business so he writes a business plan and on July 1 he borrows two hundred and ten thousand dollars from Wells Fargo and we'll call this note payable or loans payable so now after he has gotten the loan or borrows money from the bank he is ready to begin incurring his startup costs so Mike now has two hundred and fifty thousand dollars and right away after that on July 3 he goes out and he buys or purchases a building this building cost him a hundred and eighty thousand dollars so cash goes down the asset building goes up one hundred eighty thousand this is known as an investing activity so actually let's put up a column here we'll call this OFI question mark and let's center that uh, uh, within the column and draw a line under it because this tells us how did cash change so let's insert a comment by saying OFI is our cash change sorting column whenever cash changes we must classify it as an O for operating, F for financing, or I for investing activities. Mike got his first source of cash financing by putting money in from his personal account and he got more cash financing from the bank. He then invested $180,000 in a building. Then on July Five, what does he do on July 5 Mike goes out and buys a one-year fire hazard insurance policy so he buys a one-year insurance policy and he paid how much let's have him pay twenty four hundred dollars and since this is gonna last him more than one month we're gonna uh, offset the twenty four hundred dollar cash by adding it to an asset called prepaid rent now 
by buying rent, that's going to happen as a normal course of business. So we'll classify that as an operating use of cash. On July 6th, Mike then goes out and puts a full page ad in the local newspaper, buys full page ad to sell his bikes. So advertising, he's going to do that frequently and it's going to be used up each year. We call that an operating activity and under equity, instead of contributed equity, we're going to create a new column called equity or let's call it earned equity. And any reduction in cash that's going to be used up this period and won't have any future economic benefit, we're going to call that an expense. And this is advertising expense. All right. So what happens after that? On July 7, he can't sell any bikes till he buys some. So here we're going to have him buy 10 bikes for 1,000 each from a bike dealer. So Using Excel, we can go equal minus $1,000 times 10 gives you $10,000. And we're going to create a new asset called bike inventory. And that goes up 10000 And that, too, will be an operating activity. So during the first month of July, Mike sells in total all 10 bikes. Sells 10 bikes. for 3,000 each. He sells high-end bikes and we're going to go equal 1,000, actually no, 3,000 times 10 bikes. So he earns $30,000 of money from having sold his bikes. So an increase in cash or other assets from selling goods or services is known as revenue from bike sales. That revenue, since he's in business to buy and sell bikes, that increase in cash is $30,000. Now, in summary, Mike opened up a business account by putting in $40,000 from his personal savings, and he made a personal investment to finance the business. Hence, we call that a financing activity. He then borrowed $210,000 from the bank, and then he went out and incurred all of his startup costs. He bought a building. He bought some, uh, uh, some rent. He bought some advertising. He bought some inventory. And then he sold his bikes. So his balance, his unadjusted database, his unadjust, unadjusted balances on July 31, we can add these all up and see that his total assets are that amount and his totals and other balances are right there. And to make sure he balances, we can add up all of his assets, which are 279,000, and we can add up his liabilities and equity, which is 279,000. This concludes our first video using an Excel database. This is called Mike Starts His Bike Shop. In the next video, we will have Mike adjusts his accounting records before preparing his financial statements.